Ja. Uh, he just moved out of the way for the ambulance. He just moved out of the way for the ambulance. See, there's another one right there. So again, yeah. if police are supposed to be solving crime, we have the wrong most around for <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> now, I believe that if given the opportunity, chief outlaws will attempt to turn this trip around. But she's going to need your help. You gotta understand she's only the third woman in this paramilitary organization. The first one only lasts a couple of months. The second one lasts a couple of years. And Chief Outlaw comes with a couple of other opportunities. She's from Oakland, so she's an outsider. So she didn't create the force that we have, but she's responsible for it. And you may have noticed she's black. She's and, a coward. And an organization that is primarily led by white middle class men. So she's got a challenge ahead of her. And we need to give her a little time so that she can build a team that can turn this around. I'm committed to working with her and everybody on the city council who believes. Throw her out on her ass is valuable, <laughs> that everybody has the right to go home, and that if you are It's going around in cop watch circles, uh, that that lady and Chief Outlaw uh, are re are related. Look for a new profession. Yeah. Can you back to that? Huh? Can you back to that? They both have the, had the same last name. Unfortunately, we have to do this too often. And we have to do this too often because of a lack of accountability. I promise you, if I am fortunate enough to be elected to the Portland City Council. Hey, Keith. Reggie. Reggie, that's Keith. We will not have to do this again. I promise you that. I will work morning, noon, and night to make sure that no more vigils are necessary, that no more lives are lost too soon and that our government does not see us as the enemy when all we're trying to do is survive and thrive in a city that we help build. Thank you for being here. Um, so next we're going to have one of our organizers, Jesse, come up um, and read the names. We were formed uh, right after the election of Donald Trump. Um, since Donald Trump was elected, um, hundreds of people have been killed by the police. If we were going to read all those names, it would take too long. Um, what we are reading is the unarmed um, people of color who, was killed, who were killed by the police um, just since Donald Trump was elected. Jesse? Francisco Serrano, Gilbert, Gilbert Zambano Lavita, J.R. Williams, Darren Barnhill, C. Steve Saladado, Peter Torres, Nana Atolito, Jermon Allen, Chad Robertson, Juanis Hayes, Raynard Burton, Chance David Baker, Sergio Reyes, Lorenzo Antique Cruz, Michael Cicerone, Dave Phoenix, Anna Ebi Mondragon, Mon Altitero Woods, Rogelio Vandal Linda, Christopher Wade, Isaiah Martina Golden, Jordan Edwards, 
Rico Davante Hope, Carlos Garcia Petrovich, Hector Gambona, Mark Brandon Davids, David Picas, Armando Garcia Moon, Marco Carlos Cardoza, Aaron Davy, Jonathan Correll, the Juan Galawari, Brian Easy, Farhad Jabari, Aries Clark, Isaiah Tucker, Charles David Robinson, Anthony Antonio Ford, Vincent Edward Hernandez, Junior, Jacob Dominguez, Christian Mar Martinez, Drew Boy Lister, Dexter David Anthony Baxter, Nicholas Pimentel, Calvin Tony, Dustin Robert Pigeon, <laughs> Isaac Paladana, Lawrence Hawkins, Keitla O'Neill, Jim Pedro Perry, Alter McGee Jr., Luis Valadres, and Stephen Clark. Let's have a moment of silence for these names, letter names that were not read today. Thank you. Um, our next speaker is Jacob from Direct Action Alliance. 